Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Ivy and welcome to another week in our lives. Uh, something has happened to my intro footage for this week. So this is actually future Ivy um, popping in to just open this vlog up and say, hey, welcome, glad you're here. And let's see what all we can get into this week. Good morning, happy Monday. I look like old grandma with my two pairs of glasses on here. Um, <laughs> anyway, we are fixing to head out to check out our property. We had it logged a few weeks ago and then we had some guy come out and like clear a bunch of the treetops and stuff. So we're gonna take the side by side and the kids are gonna take the four wheelers and we're gonna go check that out. But it's already been a great day. It's 11 o'clock now, but Scotty and I already had doctor's appointments this morning. I have been, I don't have internet at my craft room. My craft room's in that building. There's the house. Like it's really close, but it does, Wi Fi doesn't reach out there. Anyway, so I have to download stuff to watch while I'm out there working, and I just couldn't find anything I want. So hopefully I can get internet out there soon. But anyway, we are headed out. Did I already say we had doctor's appointments this morning? We are healthy and we are grateful. So <laughs> they were really good appointments and, um, was able to talk about my skin questions and stuff so she referred me to a dermatologist so that should help me get in faster than just calling a dermatologist um and otherwise we're very healthy so that's a blessing and the kids got the four wheelers going so we're gonna head out <laughs> it's funny because we're driving in reverse can't tell the magnitude of the pile <laughs> with us standing there or in the side by side but it's huge it's huge so I know a lot of you may not understand logging or whatever but it's we are doing it for land management to increase the deer population and to there's a lot of reasons for it but uh, we sold all of our logs which that's what people use to make their houses and stuff of course but then also none of this is going to go to waste. We cut firewood for my mom and stuff. Uh, so it's all going to get used. So if anyone's upset or, <laughs> uh, I guess offended might be a word that we cut trees down or whatever. Um, I think it's also part of country living. Like you got to cut trees down to continue your land management and your growth of your land. So anyway, uh, I'll kind of show you once we get back here and, um, explain a little more about like how we did it, select cutting and all that kind of stuff. started filming because he was explaining a little bit but I missed the part where he said you see how open it is and now a lot of sunlight is coming down in here so if you notice like the tree stumps that are left I hope you guys can hear me the side by side is pretty loud um, it's the very big large mature trees and we've left the smaller ones to be able to grow and mature um, that's why we chose the company that we did to come log because they're very conservation friendly like like there's not a lot of damage to the standing trees, whereas we've seen others that when they come in, they just wipe it out, clear the whole area, take everything. We wanted a very select cut, um, 16 inches diameter or more. Yeah. yeah. And making sure that we were leaving the smaller trees to be able to also grow and mature. But it clears out the floor that makes more, the, like the forest floor, the woods floor, that makes more bedding areas for the deer. It makes a safer place for the deer. And I know that seems silly since we're then gonna go and hunt them, but um, <laughs> but it's that's part of conservation. Like hunting is part of conservation. And so like caring for the population 
and then also thinning it out as as the population grows is an important part of conservation. So anyway, I'm over explaining, I'm sure, but that's what we're doing. And I just wanted to fill y'all in on it and let you know kind of what it, a little bit of what it's about. So a lot of this is still on the sides. Steve was saying would be really good for like even bedding and stuff. So like, there's just so much in here. We would have had to pay him so much to get it, every bit of it out. Yeah. But like here on the sides here, this is easy. Okay, we're back home from our little drive around. I'm um, up in my craft room because I'm going to work on Riley's dress, finish Riley's dress. I'm very close to being done. I need to cut a slit in it from here down and sew up the slip on the side. Slip, slit, the, you know, yeah. Um, my room is such a mess. We When we put up the Christmas decorations, all these boxes were in the attic. And I was like, well, I want to get them down before we put the Christmas stuff and block it. So it's such a mess in here. Anyway, um, but I'm also, have I, I haven't told you the whole fiasco. So she tried it on one more time Friday night. And it was before she got sick and everything. Well, as soon as she pulled it on, it ripped, y'all. Like, I can fix a lot of things, but you literally just cannot fix a rip in fabric and I was already having to let it out which I've got all the seams now all like let out and so I I had to take all those seams out anyway but she would literally have a hole like on her booty if I just was going to do my original plan so now what I'm going to have to do is I'm putting a corset back in it so I've already taken the zipper out I've let all the seams out but now I'll be able to tuck the rip under and sew it in with the lining when I sew on the little loop for it to make the corset back. So a little bit of work ahead of me. I think it's going to take me about two hours. It's almost noon. So we'll see how far I can get. I have till about four. I, that's why I told Riley. I was like, I think it's going to take me two hours, but it's probably going to take me four um, just because that's how things tend to go. Um, but we went to Joanne's yesterday. That's something we did yesterday that I didn't film before we met with Lauren for dinner. Um, but I got supplies. Hang on a sec. All right, nothing against Joann's, but I prefer Hobby Lobby just because they have a better selection because Joann's did not have what I needed. And she, the lady literally said, it's not going to help you today, but Hobby Lobby would have what you need. And I'm like, I know, but they're closed on Sunday, which is admirable. And I appreciate that. So anyway, I had to settle for this, which is like piping. I wanted like really thin Apparently it's called double fold bias tape. I only have ever seen like super thick bias tape, but I've used it before. I didn't realize that was what it was called. But anyway, I found this piping and I also think I have some white cord from when I put a corset in my best friend's wedding dress. Um, put that there. So... I really need to invest in a new sewing machine. I have two sewing machines. One of them is 18 years old. I got it as a wedding gift from my aunt. And then the other one is, I bought it from, oh, this is a nice view. I bought it from the company I used to work at, Junk. And it's just, it was used as an industrial machine even though it was not an industrial machine. Yes, I do have some. I didn't buy any more last night because I was pretty sure I had some. But the reason I bought that piping instead of just this cord, which I think I would prefer the cord, but it was because I don't know if my machine's going to handle sewing through four layers of fabric and cord. It's pretty sad, right? I'm a seamstress and I can't even trust my machine. But honestly, my old, my old faithful machine is... Um, the best the better of the two um and here's the problem I took it apart to clean it one time and um I did not get it back in the original spot so this is showing a k stitch but it's actually on a stitch <laughs> so I just have to like count how many clicks I go if I need to use any of my other stitches there so anyway and then the other one's digital and it just constantly like gives me an error code 
So I've almost just given up on that one because it, I, I think that Singer is is a superior sewing brand um, and it's a brother and I just haven't been impressed. So anyhow, long story long, uh, I'm going to work on Riley's dress. I'm going to get it started now. I already talked about finding stuff to download, I think. I don't know. I just downloaded the first three episodes of the newest season of Love at First Sight. <laughs> That's my like guilty pleasure, if you guys didn't know. Like, I don't watch The Bachelor. I don't watch, like, American Idol or anything. I like watching people getting married after they've never met before. <laughs> I don't know. It's intriguing to me. And because they have, like, gosh, do I really need to go into all this? No. Um, but I'm going to. They have, like, matchmakers, basically. They take... I'm about to murder a rooster. Um, but we have... They take, like, these people's questionnaires and they try and match them, you know, based on personality and interests and religion and um, just everything and there are a lot of them have stayed married because it's like a three month something six month I don't remember how long experiment and at the end of it they have the choice to get married stay married or get divorced and a huge portion of them stay married and I think it's really sweet so okay anyway I need to get started on this do I have oh I know I have white thread if I don't have white spool thread because this is like almost empty it's only got that much and a single layer. If I don't have that, I have serger thread. So I know I have plenty of thread and it's going to be fine. I never th I have issues. Okay. <laughs> I'm showing you all the things. So I got this and then I got just this ribbon as an option for the corset back. And I got some sewing machine needles because I only have 90 14s and for like a satin, I needed like a 70. So this has 70s, 80s and 90s in it. Does that mean anything to anybody? Probably not. And then I got a whole yard of this satin. This is the inside. The outside is, I should probably look. Hang on. Okay, yes, it's actually a very good color match. So thankfully, I was hoping it wasn't too yellow. Uh, did you know how many different colors of white satin there are? Because there's a lot. Um, so anyway, pretty good match. All I'm literally gonna do, I just need a very small panel because she wants the back open. Like all you'll be able to see is the crisscross from the corset. So I just have to, cause this hits like probably right there at her panty line. So just need to make it about that big so that it will cover her underwear, I guess. Um, and then what else did I get? This was on sale. So I grabbed a pack of this. I've never used E6000, but all those like craft videos use it. So I was like, oh, it's on sale. I'm going to grab some. And then I grabbed some snaps to be able to, um, put the panel in the bottom and oh and then we ran over to Big Lot which is right next door and I bought a new iron because my old iron that's in here it's been out here for a little while because I used it for oh I think I ironed on a transfer y'all I got this at my project graduation so this iron is almost 24 years old and he just ain't doing his job anymore he's ready to retire um, I'll probably leave it out here and take this other one in the house or something. But yeah, he's not doing his job. But I wanted a new iron. I've wanted one for a while. Um, I got it on sale and um, it has like a retractable cord thing. So I don't know. We'll see if it's any good or any better than my 24 year old one. And if not, then oh well, it is what it is. Okay, I better get started. Now it is straight up noon. Yep, 11.59. So clock is started. We'll see how long this takes me. Chest. All right, so as predicted, we've already passed the two hour mark. It's been three hours. But Riley has come in and tried it on, and it was already a failure. 
Uh, so I'll put a picture in. I'll have to blur a small spot because that was, you know, my beginning part. So if it's blurred, it's because you can see through that spot. But anyhow, I didn't put enough corset loops and I also put them too long. So the loop was sticking out too far. So second go, they're barely sticking out at all and there's double the amount. So it'll be a lot closer together, I guess. Yeah, definitely closer together. Um, and I'm very excited about it. I think it's going to be perfect. It fit her like a glove. She was even able to sit down in it. Things are going great. I'm super excited. I did not cut the slit in the front yet because I didn't want to do that prematurely. And then the side seam where the other slit is um, looked weird where I sewed it back because it looked weird when I sewed it. I was like, I don't know how that's going to look on if it's going to like bulge out, you know, it looked perfect. It was perfect. So I feel confident to go ahead and cut the, it's nerve wracking because I'm like literally making a new seam and it's satin. And if you've ever worked with satin, it like unravels immediately. So actually I don't know what fabric it is. I know I'm not supposed to iron it, but it's acetate, which what is that? I don't know. Yeah, so that's even more nerve wracking that I have already deconstructed this dress. I've taken the zipper out. I put a seam in. I put that in. I took out every single, every single seam that goes around this dress. I have taken it out at least an eighth of an inch as absolute far as I could um, without, you know, just completely ripping apart. And I'm so proud that it works. Like I don't even know. Like it is a thousand percent God given talent and ability to be able to sew because I have mapped this process out in my head. Y'all know I've been crazy busy. I am typically a procrastinator by nature. I seriously am trying to work on that. Um, but I have been able to map what I'm going to do out in my head and it has worked perfectly so far. So it is a God given ability to so like I do, my mom tells me all the time, I don't know how you sew without a pattern or this or that or the other thing, you know, um, it's God. <laughs> He's just good to me that way. Uh, but you know, I am blessed by it. I work with this, um, local lady that she has a store that I very much consider a ministry. I think, uh, I think she kind of does too, but also it's just a, re just a retail store, but everything in there is a dollar, but she also has prom dresses that are $35 like gorgeous, brand new, like the kids in our community are, you know, rather poor, a lot of them. And so to be able to go there and not just our community, surrounding areas and get a gorgeous prom dress for $35. So I work with her and I haven't in the last two years because of college and my dad and just all the stress I've been under. Um, but I offer her discounted, um, alterations and I kind of miss that part of me misses that I actually did have a few people reach out to me this year for alterations. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I just can't, but I should be done with college soon ish. Um, so by next prom season, I should be good to go on alterations, but doing this has kind of rejuvenated me because it's fun figuring it out. It's very stressful too, especially when it's someone else's. And like, to me, I know this is like Riley's prom dress now, but it was my sister's, you know? So like, there's kind of that pressure too. Like, I don't want to mess up my sister's dress, you know? Um, but anyway, I just think it's super cool that, that she's wearing this. Um, and yeah, I'm excited. And I don't know if I told you this, she was super upset the other day when it ripped and I'm like, Riley, we're just going to have to get a different dress. I can't, I can't let it out. And then I was, she was crying. She was upset. I just, that's the dress. I just want to wear that dress. And I'm like, okay, I have to figure out a way to make it work. And it just all came together in my mind, which my sister said something about doing a corset back initially. And I'm like, I don't think I'm going to need to do that. Well, that's just what had to happen anyway. So it's fine. Okay. I need to finish y'all. Oh, I'm so into love is blind, right? Not, not love is blind. I keep seeing love is blind and I think it's married at first sight. And I think they're very different things, but I don't think I like Love is blind. I think it's more drama. Anyway, this first couple that got married, they already knew each other from college. Like, and I don't know, it was really, really sweet. And they're already like, this is just perfect. That just means how it's meant to be. So anyway, now the rest of them are kind of getting married and there's going to be some drama in this show too. But I just, the, the romantic in me, 
Like they keep saying it too. This, this couple is like, how cool is it going to be on our 50th anniversary when we're like, this is how we got married. You know, that is a very cool story. So, okay. Okay. I've got to finish this dress. I have less than one hour before I need to leave for the softball game. Scotty is out mowing his first mow of the season at he mows for a lady in the community. And so I hope he gets home in time because we need to be there about 430. That's typically when we get there, especially to get our good seats. We try and get there early so we can get the good seats, you know, right up at the fence. Okay, rambling enough. I'm going to snack on some gummy worms. Watch my guilty pleasure. So two guilty pleasures here. And finish this dress. So I'll see y'all later. Okay, I'm to the most stressful part. I just cut the slit. <sighs> I like literally had to give myself a five minute pep talk. You can't fix it. You know, like if it doesn't work, it's it. It's over. <sighs> so I'm so nervous. Okay, so I just need to transfer now from here to there and sew it and be done. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. <laughs> oh my gosh, if this doesn't, like, for real, there's no going back. I cut it. There's no going back. Okay, I did it. It worked. But I haven't ironed it yet, so it doesn't look like it worked. But it worked, and I need to leave. So I was going to show you guys really quick. I'm really happy with it. I think Riley's going to be happy with it. I'm still nervous as I'll get out that it's actually going to work once it's on her body. I just pray just going to pray that it looks good and it's in line and it's straight and it doesn't look ridiculous because there's literally no going back. No going back. Like I'm about to murder a rooster. Like I think I say it in every vlog lately, but that rooster and I, do you see him? We are not friends. Mm -mm. We are not friends. Don't like him. Uh, but like I was saying, uh, satin unravels as soon as you start. Do you see all those little hairs? Oh man. It was scary. I'm like, I gotta get this sewn before it unravels all the way apart. Okay, let me show you what it looks like at this point. All right, so here we are. It's the front is sewn to the back. And so all I have to do now is like get it lined out and iron it. And it's so tight on her that I think it's even once I get it ironed, it's gonna be perfect. Um, but yeah, like the lining is sticking out. If nothing else, I can run a tiny little seam right there. I don't want a seam on the outside, but if I have to do it, I will do it. Um, she really liked the idea of it being rounded. It did slightly pucker right there in the dang hole from the safety pin that was there. But it slightly puckered right there, but I think it's going to be okay. I, I pray it's okay. Okay, I need to walk away from it for a while, go watch some softball. Then I'll be back, probably with um, fried chicken for dinner. the side fence. Straighten that out, kid. I'd love to see you hit him in. Keep it Justin. Oh. Let's go, Riley. Redemption here. Get your hit.
<laughs> Congratulations! Yep, were you so thrilled? Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah. Yep, that was pretty exciting. Every other thing is now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jesse bounced that off the table. I know. I know. I'm like, give it to me. I'm like, I'm going to get that. I was, I was watching him the whole way. Like, <laughs> yeah, I just, I'll have to stand up. I don't know if I'll be able to get him. Hey y'all, happy Tuesday. It's been a good day. We went back to school today after our four day weekend and it was a good day. It was a little bit crazy, a little bit wild, but I think the class and I are finally getting in a good groove. So that's exciting. It's taking much less time to get them to settle down in between like, hey, it's time to settle down and the time they actually settle down. So that's a good thing. Uh, I want to talk about last night really quick though because Riley had a softball game and she hit her first ever over the fence home run. And it was so exciting and so incredible. You will have already seen the game footage, um, but we are so proud of her. This girl has worked so hard. Y'all know we've talked about it multiple times about her putting in the work. She got her home run because she has put in that work and I'm so proud of her. So Anyway, that was super exciting. And then the sky ended up being super beautiful last night. So we got some awesome pictures and it was just an awesome night. And then we had school today. And then tonight, Aiden was supposed to have a ball game, but it got canceled. So as soon as it got canceled, I updated my pickup time and picked up groceries right after school. Did my normal running around bank post office groceries, came home, filmed a grocery haul, called my mom, um, She's doing good. She took a walk today. She's, she's on, she's like about to top that hill. It's super exciting. Um, so talk to mama and then started gathering my stuff up and I was downloading. My Netflix is ridiculous. It won't let me download anything else. I've only downloaded three things and it says you can only download 15 things per month and I've only downloaded three. So what's wrong with you <laughs> anyway? So, um, downloaded Beauty and the Beast, the live action one, because it's something that I can just listen to and not have to watch. Anyway, in case you wondered what I'm watching tonight. And so by the time I got that done, Katie called me. Actually, she sent me a few messages and then she called me. And so we talked for a while and then it was almost seven, which meant it was time for my college call. It was about a quarter to seven. And so I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to eat really quick. So I ate some chicken salad and, um, then my college call was at seven and that was like right at 15 minutes. And then I went to the restroom and grabbed all my stuff and it's 728 and I finally made it outside. So I don't think I talked to you guys about the dress. Did I? I don't think I did. Okay. So I got the corset back in, but there's something funky. I'll put a picture in here. Something funky with the slit. So it looks fine and I can show you when I, here, hang on, let me just pause it and I'll lay it out and then I'll show you and talk about it at the same time. Okay, so here it is. So it looks fine. Of course, it's very wrinkled and this fabric is, I've already ironed it and it's already wrinkled again. So it's just the fabric. Anyway, it looks kind of fine. It's got a tiny little pucker right there, but when it's on, it's massive. It like, well, you will have seen the picture. It, it does something super weird. So I'm not sure what I need to do. I'm definitely going to have to at least take this seam out from here around. I kind of think maybe because these don't line up down here, 
I think maybe I started it off to start with. Does that make sense? So I kind of think I need to actually take the entire seam out, turn it inside out, pin it, and then sew it. I, I don't pin when I sew typically. So I think that's what I'm going to do. But, oh, it looks so nice. I'm so excited how how it is turning out. And it's it's good. It's good. Things are happening. So... Sorry, I have the hiccups right now. So, um, yeah, the corset back turned out beautifully. Look at all those beautiful little corsets there. And the side seam, I need to get, I had to put this down. And after I put this down on the table, um, the iron was working better. But I haven't ironed that yet. I just ironed the seam here. And you can see how flat that came. So I just need to try and fix this and then put the hem back in. Can't do the hem until I have it all completely sewn um, everywhere else. Put the hem back in and then I can iron it. So wish me luck again. It's going well. I'm excited. I should have it done tonight, but we shall see. And I'll update y'all when I'm done. Hopefully, maybe if I remember. Okay, the dress is going well, but guys, I'm watching Beauty and the Beast and it's to the like dining room scene where they're singing Be Our Guest. And I'm sewing the little patch thingy. I have been wearing this shirt all day. Didn't even occur to me when I decided I wanted to watch Beauty and the Beast. It was subliminal messaging, I'm sure. Like, <laughs> just now when Lumiere is singing, like, in my brain, I was like, oh, I love Lumiere. <laughs> I love Lumiere shirt on. I'm ridiculous. The girl at the bank was like, Oh my gosh, you're like all Disneyed out because I had on my lanyard and I had this shirt and she knows I'm going to, we're going to Disney in June and she said she's jealous and everything, but oh my gosh, I am such a mess that I didn't even remember what shirt I was wearing. Okay, proceed with your lives. <laughs> um, I fixed the slit again. I'm still nervous that it's, something's wrong, but it really was off. So I don't know. We will see. We will see what ends up happening. I don't know. But they're on their way home, so hopefully I can get her to try it on. It's already 8.24. So I don't, that took me less than an hour to do that. And I'm sewing the little panel. And I've already ironed it. So I've done a lot in an hour. Um, but yeah, that just struck me as funny. And that is all. See y'all later. Okay, I'm done. She came and tried it on. I ironed it still a little bit weird but not nearly as bad and I was kind of able to iron part of it out but uh you'll have to wait until prom day to see it on her though um you'll have the, have had the little sneak peeks of things but um this is as good as going to get ironed this thing is a hopeless mess I cannot iron this thing steam and like spraying it with water and then ironing it was helping a little bit so maybe on prom day I can do a little more steaming on the bottom but Anyway, otherwise, I am done with the prom dress. Yay, good to go. While I was waiting on them to get back from the game, I started working through some of these tubs of fabric that I pulled down from the attic um, when we put our Christmas decorations back away. So I'm ready to start getting this craft room back in order. It's always so awesome to be out here. I should turn my air on. It's pretty hot in here, but it's all right. I'm glad to be done with this. Now I'm going in the house because it is 9.43. Holy cow, way later than I thought it was going to be. Hey y'all, happy Thursday. Uh, I am actually just fixing to go home for the day. Last Thursday I was here till 8.45. It's only 5.35. Yay, I'm kind of getting this down. And look at my table. It's mostly clear. That's, nope, that stuff. It's so hard to like look in the camera and play. That stuff is for tomorrow. That's an extra summer school form. And the rest is my keys for grading things that are not turned in yet. And my checklists for things that are not turned in yet. So... I have tomorrow's work set up right here, my planner. Like, I feel like I'm getting in the groove. We're almost through my third week, is that right? The first week of April, and then last week was the second week of April, and this is the third week of April. Oh, I could literally look at that calendar right there on the wall. Yeah, so we're almost through my third full week, and it's going okay. Today was actually very rough. <laughs> they just were rough today. I had a lot of behavior issues that I had to deal with. Um, the special services um, 
administrator told me I did an amazing job handling one of the situations. Unfortunately, that same child did not have a great afternoon outside of my, it was during lunch and the principal had to step in, but it's okay. But the rest of them also, it's just the end of the year. They are, they know they're going to be done soon. It's just a lot of stuff, you know, so it, they're just getting a little bit rambunctious and we're going to be just fine. But anyway, I keep saying I'm going to vlog in here and I just haven't yet, but it's such a cute room. I love her little like muted rainbow type of theme that she's got going on. Um, and it's just, it's just been great. It just really has. I've learned so much. Like I can't even explain how much I have learned during this few weeks. <laughs> like I just feel really good coming into next year. Um, Tonight is the board meeting that they might announce or talk about reassignments, which would mean that my job might be official after tonight for next year. And um, yeah, I actually just got an email today of what my salary would be if I do get that position. I don't know. It's just, it's been kind of an interesting day. So anyway, I need to get out of here and stop rambling. Um, but I just finally wanted to vlog in here and I have my favorite teacher outfit on my, my, uh, denim romper. I always get such, or jumper, not romper, um, get such sweet compliments whenever I wear this each time. So anyhow, I'm going to get out of here, get home. We got to clean the cabin tonight because we have guests checking in tomorrow and the people that stayed last left it immaculate. So it's not going to take long at all to clean, clean the showers, quick sweep and mop vacuum, check all the dishes, make sure they cleaned them well, make the beds good to go, put fresh towels. So anyway, it'll be a quick clean and all, well, I said, I was going to say all four of us, but Scotty's already mowed and weed eated. I told him he's off the hook. So me and the kids are going to go down and clean. I have dry erase marker all over my hands. Um, we're going to go down and clean really quick, get it knocked out and be ready for our guests to check in tomorrow. So, all right, I may or may not take you down there. We'll see what happens. I'm ready to get it done and get back home and have a restful evening. So, hey, happy Thursday. Hope you enjoyed today. Um, thank you all for loving on me on my week, my uh, grocery haul too, by the way. Um, I haven't done one, a good one in a while. And so it feels really good that it's taking off. It's been a little bit of a stutter step with my channel lately. I know I've not been putting the time and attention into it, so it shows. So it feels nice to have a video that's taking off right now. So thank you all. If you're new from there, thanks for coming over. Thanks for checking out my weekly vlogs. And yeah, thanks for loving on my, my grocery haul. So all right, now I'll really see you later. Y'all, I stopped and talked to the custodian for two seconds and it started pouring rain. Like not pouring rain, kind of. I mean, it's actually not as bad right now. Anyway, these are those big old fat raindrops that Bubba Gump was talking about. <laughs> They're huge, huge raindrops. Anyway. I, it looked cloudy and I thought it might rain, but I thought I might get home first, but no, big old fat raindrops. Hey y'all, uh, just got home and I got a package in the mail. I, I ordered a dress for my brother-in-law's wedding this summer. So I found this exact dress on Amazon. I have been waiting for it to come back in stock. And then lo and behold, it came up in Sheen for like a quarter of the price and but the problem is they only had white. So I had to order white and then I'm going to dye it. <laughs> it's worth it because like the, the color I want is near is pinker than that. It's more like, um, I'll put a picture on the screen of what it is that I want. And I can't get that out of my head. They had other colors, but they were not like summer wedding appropriate. That pink, I just feel like is so pretty. So here it is and I'm going to open it up and we're in the bathroom because Scotty's mowing the backyard and so it's really loud in my bedroom and the kids are both eating in the living room or like that living room dining room area and so I don't want to like be in there while they're trying to snack and everything but anyhow it doesn't feel heavy enough to be what I want it to be but we're just going to see what we get you know took our chances but for $15 like is that even a third it was normally like 50 and hopefully this is a fabric that will take dye easily okay okay doesn't feel too bad which 
I probably won't want it super thick anyway on the beach. <gasps> oh my goodness. But is it gonna fit me? I don't know. I guess I'll try it on and show y'all. But um, okay, it looks about right. So now just if it fits me and then if it's gonna die and if I can get it to turn into a pink dress, then that would be fantastic. So I'm gonna try it on. Let's, I'll, I'm gonna go in my bedroom. Um, try it on in there. So we'll just have to deal with the louder mower sound in there. I think everybody will understand it'll be okay. All right, y'all, it fits perfectly. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm obviously gonna have to get a different bra situation here, but oh my goodness, it fits me so good. And I am super excited. Now, the type of fabric it is, I'm still iffy if it is going to die or not, but we will just have to see. Like that's that's the only option is to just try it. And if not, then it's $15 and I can handle that. But yeah, now to start figuring out what kind of under garments I'm going to be able to wear with this. Hey y'all, we are down at the cabin cleaning and one, that rain that came through, it hasn't even hit here yet, but it is so much colder. Like I'm in shorts and a t-shirt and it's pretty chilly. But two, um, it is full swing spring here. And uh, I don't know if you can tell that that's kind of yellow, but I'm sweeping the porch right now and there is so much pollen on here and I just hope and pray it does not like murder my sinuses over the weekend. So, or the, the weekend. I mean, I guess, yeah, technically, but because I'm sweeping this, it's probably gonna get bad. So I was just gonna show you, like as I sweep, how terrible the pollen is. All right, see that tiny little pile there? How am I gonna do this? I guess I'll try and like <laughs> one-handed. Look at that, that's literally all pollen. That was so anticlimactic there. Yeah, that's pretty rough. And I have to sweep this whole porch. This is a big porch. Technically should do the back and front too, but we'll see. Hello, happy Friday. We are hanging out at Mama's house. You guys haven't seen Mama in a while. She's doing pretty good. Pretty good, she had a checkup today. She said she's gonna live, so that's good to know. Uh, but I was like, we're just sitting here Looking through old buttons. Lila is uh, making some kind of project, so she's gotten out all the buttons. And <laughs> can you tell which one's carrying on? Let me turn it around. All right, can you tell which one Scotty picked out? <laughs> he said all the ones that look like tires. <laughs> and then these are mine. This one I think looks like Kiss, like Gene Simmons. <laughs> this one's pretty cool. Lila picked these out for me. Got Mother of Pearl and a rose. And then this reminds me of like an old doorknob. So I chose that one. We used to have a bathroom that had a doorknob like that a long time ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then this reminds me of a dress I had or a, like a denim dress or shirt. I can't remember when I was little. It had a button like that. And then a heart shaped button. And this one was really cool. This one looks very vintage. It's kind of dirty. It looks broken. No. Oh. Can you not see what's on it? It's leaves oh. or feathers. Yeah, the maybe? angle I was at just looked like it was no, chipped off. No, super cool. I bet this is off like a 40s or 50s like women's suit. Lila, hand that to Grandma. And then this is my this is my last one I've picked out so far. It looked like a poker chip. I don't know. I thought it was cool. Not that I play poker or anything. Anyway, <laughs> it just looks, it just looks cool. Anyway, all these super cool buttons. The ones Scotty's looking in right now are like super, super duper old. And then there's all these. There's the super duper old ones. They smell old. <laughs> Lila said they smell like an old person. <laughs> oh, okay. They just smell old. Anyway, we're just having fun looking through buttons. What are you doing? Playing baseball. With a little bat button. It's a button and it's a baseball bat. Uh -huh. And you have. I have a pom-pom. <laughs> All right. What do you got? 
That's cool. Looks like a headlight. Yeah. <laughs> to go with your tires, <laughs> your wheels. Anyway, that's how we have fun around here on a Friday night, looking at old buttons and I don't know. It's been enjoyable. I brought dinner over uh, for Lila and, and Mama. Oh, Mama said it was so good. I made uh, chop suey, which she said she's not had in about two years. So um, we were talking about it one day and she's like, yeah, next time you make chop suey. So uh, you're welcome, Katie. I did not make it for a family <laughs> dinner night. <laughs> um, anyhow, it was, it was very good. And I was going to just bring her and Lila a portion. And then I'm like, I'll just bring it all and we'll just invite ourselves over for dinner. Um, but yeah, it's been fun just hanging out. We watched the softball game. Riley's at the softball game, but we never saw her on TV. So we've just been sitting here watching softball and now baseball's on. We're just hanging out, having a grand old time. All right, y'all, we are back from my mama's house. We had such a good time tonight. Um, we really did not intend to stay long. We were just going to go have dinner and come home and... We ended up staying for two hours and it was just a lot of fun, really enjoyable way to spend our Friday night. Um, but now I am here editing my video and um, realized my first few clips um, are unusable. I can't use them. And so I had to just film a little like intro coming into this. Um, but anyway, the stuff that was in them, I'm sad that I can't use it, but eventually, you know, things will come back around and I'll be able to cover that kind of stuff again but it's neither here nor there and it's going to be okay but um anyway I need to close this vlog out and so I was popping on to close this vlog out but I remembered when I was moving footage over sorry I'm tangled in my headphone cable here this isn't even my headphone cable I'm table tangled in all the cables um anyhow I remembered when I was uploading footage I saw a picture that I took today and it reminded me uh the board meeting was last night and it is official. I will be the new fourth grade teacher for our school starting in August. So yay. Um, it's my role. They've cr kind of created a new role at our school um, because there's so many teachers. Well, there's a teacher shortage nationwide, but there's a lot of teachers at our school that are finishing college. And so my position is called a provisionally certified teacher which is basically what I'm operating on now as a sub. So I am not fully certified. I'm not DESE, like state of Missouri certified as a teacher yet, but I'm provisional, provisionally certified. And so, yay, like it's official. And like I have my salary bracket and what I'll be making, which is double what I make now. And oh my goodness. So if that tells you how little I make right now, <laughs> but I'm going to tell you guys, I've said it a long time ago when I switched from working at junk to here. Um, no one could ever pay me enough money to go back into that type of work environment. Um, I have finally found my calling in life <laughs> and like I money can't buy happiness. It is the truth. We have had a few tough times in the last three years since I've been, um, on a paraprofessional salary, but we have never hurt. We've never wanted for anything. We've always had everything taken care of, our bills taken care of, and God has provided and it has been great. Um, but man, is it going to be nice. And as a teacher, I will be making more than I was as a manager working at a company for eight years. So <laughs> yay. It's, it's exciting. It is not about the money. Cause like I said, I, we've been just fine on, half the salary for three years and we would still just be just fine. I was actually talking with Scotty cause we've said like the first thing we're doing is getting me a new car cause we kind of need a new car. But now I'm thinking maybe we don't get a new car. <laughs> maybe we just put a little bit more money in my car, fix the few issues that it has and start our debt snowball moving a little faster and pay off some of our debt. We don't have a lot. We have our house, and our land over there, um, not even that land, it's, uh, the five acres land and, um, not the land we logged for the record <laughs> in case you wondered what land, but does it really matter? No. Um, and we have one credit card. I was like, what else do we have? That's it. That's it. That's all the debt we have. So we are doing pretty all right, but It'd feel nice to pay some more stuff off. You know what I'm saying? We own all of our vehicles. You know, we, so we're doing good. 
Does any of that matter? No. Am I exhausted? Yes. I had a hiatal hernia episode last night and so I didn't sleep at all. It's been a little bit of a rough day, but the thing that has kept me going is I got my job. It's official now. I keep saying I'm not getting my hopes up until it is in writing or I have a contract in front of me and it is now in writing. It is the board notes. They voted. I was approved <laughs> along with a, another long list of people of new hires and um, reassignments. So anyhow, super exciting. I am so grateful. So grateful. Um, and excited to start my new position. Um, I'm learning so much as a sub, um, but it's been great. So anyhow, I've rambled on far long enough. So thank y'all so much for coming along with me this week. I do hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down in the comment box. And of course, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future content. So yeah, thanks for coming along with me on this one. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.